Then for question three, that will be your questions. Then we will start understanding this question by the given information here. Yeah, they tell us it has full text. Okay, nice. Memang kita kena ada word text because everything we refer to the word text. Without that, we cannot do. So we have word text. They say its axis is parallel to y axis. Axis apa maksud? Axis axis symmetry dia. Parallel to y axis maksud axis symmetry dia adalah secara menegak lah. Then dia pass through a point. So means that now we are dealing with the parallel polar yang atas ataupun yang bawah. Jenis yang atas ataupun yang bawah. So yang atas ke yang bawah ke kita tak tahu sebab kita tak bagi formula. Tidak, tidak, kita, kita tidak diberi formula, kita just by, ada bagi situasi di mana axis dia parallel to the y axis. So if parallel to y axis, indirectly they want to tell you that it will be something x square equals to 4p then y minus k. So since what that we have already, then the main concern here will be what is our p, right? So in order to find our p, we put back our vertex first. So when x equals to negative 1 means x plus 1 square. Then y equals to negative 2, y plus 2. So this uh, equation partially we done already. Partially saja. Kenapa partially? Sebab 4 p tak cari lagi. P tak cari lagi. So that information is said the parabola can pass through the point. So when it said it can pass through the point, means the point can be fulfilled into the equation. So anything, anything that you pass to say, oh, this is the point. So means this point can be substituted in the equation. So this parabola pass to 3, 6. Pass to 3, 6, either one. Okay, so means this 3, 6 can be substituted into the equation. Where the x is 3 and the y is 6. So here, so p is 1 over 2. So finally, we get our p. We go back to the question what they, what they ask us to answer. They just ask us to answer equation of parabola. X plus 1 square. So put back your P is 1 over 2. So as the question asks, 